Hey, where's MJ? Hi, MJ. Hi, Ricky. How are you doing? Starting Strong is a reality experimental recruiting show that I created for the United States Army. And so it's having its world premiere here at the GI Film Festival this Friday, which I'm very excited about. And they've also been so kind enough to, uh, to uh, honor me with the, being the recipient of the 2010 Spirit Award, which I'll get Friday, which I'm very, very excited about. A little give and take. You're working on this reality television show right now. That's reality, that's the big thing. Starting Strong, it's called. And uh, yeah, and the concept is, is we take a young um, person into the Army world, we show them the kind of career that they could have in whatever field they're interested. And so the uh, first four episodes we did mechanic, medic, MP, and infantry. And then we after three days take them out of the army world and show them a civilian career that they could get um, with the skills that armies trained them with and, and, then, and then they make it a decision whether or not to enlist at the end and it is reality and so we had four episodes as uh, the, the trial and I'm waiting for the, the army to decide if they want to move forward. Well thank you so much and congratulations on the GI Spirit Award. My name is Sarah Harvey. I directed, co-directed the film PAX. It's a short film about uh, an Iraqi war veteran who came back with 100% disability due to post-traumatic stress. And um, he was kind of paired up with this organization where inmates train service dogs for war veterans. So he received a dog from this organization and it basically transformed his life. And tell us a little bit about how you came to be part of this movie and um, just what led up to it. Sure. Uh, I was working, Glenn Close is the executive producer, she also narrates it and directs it as well. Um, and I was working with her, she had a blog at the time and we were kind of just doing video work for her blog and she had been working with Puppies Behind Bars, that's the organization, prior to meeting me and she knew that Bill, the uh, soldier, was coming to meet Lori, the woman that had trained Pax. So she, we just went to document it and throughout the day we realized it was such a powerful moment in both of their lives, the inmates' lives, um, you know, we thought, well, wait a second, maybe this can live beyond your blog, a three minute piece. And we, once we reviewed the footage and in editing, we just kind of condensed it down to 18 minutes and it and it could stand on its own and we submitted it at some festivals and it's gotten a really great reception so well I can I can only speak of from watching the film myself but I think it's not only affected the people that were part of the movie but it's now affecting those of us that have seen it it was an amazing film and thank you so much for letting us be part of that today Laura, how did you become involved with the GI Film Festival? Well, you know, actually, it's it's a family affair. It turns out that I first met Laura and Brandon when they came to Fort Hood, where I was commanding the hospital, and Laura's mother worked on my team at Darnall. In fact, she's right here at this reception tonight. And when they told me that they were pulling together this GI Film Festival, and of course, at that time, I knew that I had orders to come to Washington, D.C. Well. The rest is history. We've been How together these in last the four years. And, you know, my, my bias really is that culture and the arts are really at the very core of the healing journey. In fact, it's at the heart of what it is to be human. Hi, I'm Kathleen Gag, and I am the executive director of Got Your Back Network. I was just recently asked, what, I, what is my connection with The Bachelor, Andy Baldwin? Well, the connection is I run um, Andy's foundation called Got Your Back Networks. We provide um, events for the children of our fallen soldiers. Um, through di diverse coordinated events, we would like to connect the children with some of our most talented leaders, whether it's our politicians, corporate executives, athletes, entertainers, actors, actresses. It's just, it's, a, it's events like that where we can give back and return the salute to some of our, our heroes. You know what, Andy is not just a pretty face, he has a big heart and he loves to give back. 
I support the GI Film Festival. They're making history and they're recording history and they're making us understand history and how the brave sacrifice of so many young Americans has made the nation what it is today. I can never be grateful. I show my gratitude enough to them. Thank you. I'm here with Carrie Turner at the 2010 GI Film Festival. Carrie, could you tell us a little bit about why you're here? And I know that you had a role in a movie that was screened last night. Could you tell us a little bit about that? I made it on the, I didn't hit the cutting room floor on the Lieutenant Dan Band film with Gary Sinise. He's a huge part of my heart because he loves the troops like I love the troops. Just finished my 11th USO slash Stars for Stripes tour and go back to visit our troops anytime I can. And if the GI Film Festival celebrates our guys, then that's where I'm going to be. Well, thanks. And we just actually had um, a man in uniform walk past us and tell us how important you were to his infantry unit over in um, when he was in Iraq based on your JAG performance. So how does that make you feel? It makes me feel great. Like there are so many people that suddenly you'll end up in Walter Reed and visiting people and you're like, ma'am, I, I was your guard, I was your guide, or I was your person. And you're like, really? Like it's a full circle moment. After 11 times over there, you go, it, you, you're going to know people who are still here. You're going to know people who are wounded, and you're going to know people who are redeployed. And either way, I'm in love with all of them. And it just kind of hits home to how you do have an intricate part in their life and their healing process, and it, it kind of brings it all home and makes you feel good. Makes me feel great. Makes me high. And we want you to feel great and high, Carrie. So <laughs> thank you for speaking with us tonight. <laughs> thank you, darling. I'm here with John and Deborah Flora at the 2010 GI Film Festival. Could you guys tell me a little bit about why you're here and you know what this means to you guys? Well, it means the world to us. When we screened the film last night, I directed and produced uh, Lieutenant Dan Band for The Common Good, the documentary on Gary Sinise. My wife also produced it. And uh, we just really believe in this film festival. It's something that Brandon talked to us about when it was just a twinkle in his eye that he had this crazy idea. And uh, we look at what's going on, and year after year it continues to grow. And it's very important to salute and honor the men and women that have served and continue to serve our nation. And just this opportunity to tell real hero stories. They pretty much start with stories of our servicemen and the people that support them. That's one thing that we talk about all the time, especially where we live in Los Angeles. I mean, most people don't know anyone that has served. And if only 1% of our population serves in the military, many people don't know anyone that served. And one of the things that Jonathan did in the film and that Gary Sinise, who we follow in the film, um, helped shine a light on is so people can get to know those servicemen, see beyond, and women, see beyond their uniforms and get to know who they are, why they do what they do, and help them get to know them. And I think one of the nicest things we heard was someone who has never spoken to a serviceman before after seeing our movie, took his five-year-old son and went up to a soldier and introduced him and said, thank you. And he never would have done it before because he would have seen only the uniform and not the person behind it. us here, Kathleen. What, before they completely kick us out, what would you have to say about tonight? I think it was just amazing. I had such a great time. Uh, the GI Film Festival rocks. So, what Pretty you, much. So what is MJ doing here at the GI well, Film Festival? Well, you know, MJ has young blondes like us get on camera because she doesn't necessarily like to be on camera, even though she's beautiful. Oh, I know. And I she would do an amazing job on camera. I was kind of uh, getting that impression. Yeah, I think we maybe should pull her in here with us and, and have her be on camera with us. What it, do you think? Is it the tagline, where's MJ? I think it is, but where is MJ? It's kind of like, where's Waldo? Where is MJ? <laughs> Brandon, tell me how the GI Film Festival is going. It's been a great week. It's been a great launch. We're very proud. We've screened, well, we still have a long way to go. We've got 30 films to go. We've screened about six. But every night we've had a packed house. We've had some great celebrity support. We've had some amazing, you know, we, we honored the Wounded Warriors last night, which is always very special. So we're happy. I mean, we have a little ways to go, but we're very happy with where we are right now. And we're specifically, we're very happy for our filmmakers because the films have been so well received. Okay, boys and girls, it's not limited to just boys. I've been to Iraq 29 times on tours with entertainers, five times in Afghanistan, and the guys and girls give me their dog tags. And I tell them, I'll wear them as long as they stay in touch with me by email or some other means. 
And when they quit emailing me, I put it in a box at home, and I have 27 at home in a box. And these three still stay in touch with me. So send me your dog tag and your email address, and I'll communicate with you. How can they reach you? Judy Seal. And if you go to the website, wwwstars 4 stripes not Stars and Stripes, that's the military magazine. Stars for Stripes is a nonprofit organization that takes entertainment to the troops overseas. Email me. Thank you.